This video contains spoilers from the world and story of The Forest. Please beware. One more swing of the axe finally makes that tree topple. Whew, another successful day. You pack up all your items and head towards your home through the forest, lit by the last rays of the evening sun. Hurried, trying to stay as quiet as possible, you really don't want to be caught out here in the dark. But with a small slip, your foot lands right on a branch in the middle of the path. The snap ripples through the forest, bouncing off trees like a gunshot. You freeze, panicked, listening to the sounds of the woods around you. In the distance, you hear a hiss, almost like a snake. Whatever that is, you're definitely not staying around long enough to find out. You pick up the pace, rushing towards the safety of your camp, but behind you, footsteps, and not just one pair. They get closer and closer, the hissing sounds getting louder and louder, until you finally spin around and gaze upon a horrid, spider-like creature leaping towards you. You kinda react in time, its front legs hit you, and the world goes dark. What you just ran into there is the so-called Virginia, a creepy mutant from the world of the forest, and one of the most unfortunate things you can run into on the peninsula. And well, this mutant will be the topic of today's video. I'll be telling you everything we know about these, including their appearance, behavior, and origins, and by the end, I'll also mention some strategies for dealing with them. So without any further ado, collect 5 more sticks, craft some Molotov cocktails, and let's go. Now if you watched my RMZ video, you already have a solid idea of what a creepy mutant is, but if not, well, it's a category of mutants within the game which contains the most dangerous creatures you could possibly run into. That description should give you a pretty solid idea of what we're dealing with here. The Virginia is a malformed humanoid towering above many other mutants in the game, boasting three pairs of legs and six, uh, arms all fused together. Interestingly enough, it also possesses breasts and female genitals which are fused into the mix or what makes up its body. That however is about as far as it gets with any human-like features. Its whole face is basically just missing, except for what might have been the mouth at some point, and it only communicates through a series of hisses and skitters. Should you alert it to your presence, it will immediately become hostile, leaping and attacking with its front legs until you either run away, kill it, or get beaten to a pulp. Hopefully, this description makes it pretty clear why you should try to avoid these unless you're very well prepared, but to do that, you have to know where to find them. Like most creepy mutants, they will initially only spawn inside caves with other smaller mutants, but starting from day 7, they can also be encountered on the surface. It should also be noted here that a more powerful blue variant can occasionally spawn from day 20 onward or can be found in caves even before that. Now let's touch a bit on the backstory. According to the orientation slideshow that you can find in the Endgame Sahara Bunker, the test subject Virginia, codenamed 37B5, is 12 years of age, though of course, this could be age since mutation or age of the test subject, and according to the presentation, it has quote unquote, developed multiple sexual organs, perhaps hinting at the fact that it is capable of giving birth to mutant babies, further evidenced by the fact that it most commonly spawns with them. Additionally, though of course, it could just be another one of Sahara's experiments, there is an in-game item called the Latin Paper, which seems to be a relic predating Sahara that mentions, albeit in rough translation, a woman with multiple legs and some dead infants, perhaps hinting at the Virginia already being on the peninsula way before it was purchased for the sake of experimentation. Now finally, how do you defend yourself against this horrid monster should you be unfortunate enough to run into it? Well, as with all creepy mutants, distance and strafing are your strongest weapons. Interestingly enough, this thing is actually a bit easier to fight inside of caves because its leaves are much more blocked by the geometry around you, However, even if you are outside, breaking line of sight with trees and pummeling it with fire arrows, molotov cocktails, or just literally anything you have will usually do the trick. When if it happens to have a swarm of babies around it, 
just try leading it away from them as they can become quite a nuisance if they start leaping at you in the middle of the fight. But hey, with all that information, the next time you run into a pack of mutant babies and you end up killing them, make sure to stay on the lookout cause one of these things might just be waiting in the shadows ready to jump at you as soon as you let your guard down. But with that, that brings us to the end of the video so I hope you guys enjoyed and have learned at least a little bit more from the fascinating and terrifying world of the forest. If you enjoyed this video, maybe consider leaving a like, commenting or subscribing, all those would be very much appreciated. And if there is anything that I missed or theories of your own that you would like to cover, make sure to leave those down in the comments as well, I would very much like to read them. Now with that, I'm gonna wish you all a beautiful rest of the day, and I'll see you in whatever next video I make. Bye bye.